Oain dala, hilibete bat edo horrela, gure lehendakariak. A month ago, our president, the president of the IBAS country, explained the 2030 agenda to us. And it uh, talked about sustainability, of course. It set different strategies regarding sustainability. In uh, VET, we've already started uh, developing this working line, and now Mari Jose Barriola will be explaining this field because it's something new, and we need to do many new things in this sphere. So could you explain what the plan is? Well, first of all, uh, welcome all. In VET, in vocational training, we've opened a new window. And let's see what we see from the window. These are the objectives for sustainability that have to do with uh, nature. We're really sorry, but the quality of the sound for the video is not good enough for it to be translated. In the five minutes that I have uh, left, uh, I will try and explain what this uh, working uh, group, uh, this group of teachers, is uh, doing. We started to work on this in September, and I will try and explain what we're focusing in and what we're doing with our students and uh, teachers. This is the Department of uh, Biosciences and Sustainable Development, and our aim is to uh, have a human growth that is uh, sustainable, and we focus on three areas. First of all, we work on uh, um, food products and also the different uh, families, the different professional families that are linked to this. Some of them traditionally have been part of VET and others uh, haven't, but we want to uh, learn and to understand what's important and to get to know each other better. And this project has been very useful to be able to do this. The first project has uh, to be do with the, the economy and with a shared economy and to uh, create a um, network. It has been very interesting because we have the farming industry and other uh, fields that have been linked together. And the um, main role has been given to the students. The students have been the ones that have grown these products that have taken them to the cooking schools. And then they've seen how these uh, products are handled. And they've also been able to see what the industrial um, process is. Teachers have met each other. This has also encouraged more cooperation. And uh, the uh, cooking students have also been uh, brought to the uh, uh, farming area so that they understand uh, where these wonderful products from our gastronomy come from. We've created uh, synergies. 
Something else that's important is a responsible consumption. This experience has helped more than uh, uh, 700 students to reflect on uh, what a responsible uh, consumption is and means. We've also dealt with the issue of uh, uh, handling uh, food products. In VT centers, uh, we have a problem with the, our waste products, and we've tried to provide a solution uh, for this, maybe to uh, bring back this uh, to farming areas by creating uh, compost. It has been a wonderful uh, experience. We've been able to uh, develop this uh, project in the three uh, provinces of the Basque Country, and uh, we also want to go a step further, and that is uh, trying to see what we will face in the uh, future in this uh, um, sector. And we've uh, mainly focused on the uh, food sector. We've uh, seen new techniques used, uh, new products, and teachers have also learned uh, through this process. Industry 4.0 has also been very present. And we've uh, tried to also speak about the kind of uh, restaurants we will have in the future where digitization will also be very important. So we are focused on uh, building in a sustainable manner. And here we have uh, two important elements that we wanted to uh, treat, uh, as well as in bioeconomy and uh, the circular economy. Here we've created a platform to build uh, and construct in an intelligent and efficient manner. So we brought together the different uh, families of BET that have to do with construction, and together uh, we've worked, and this has been a very interesting challenge. The uh, different uh, families of uh, uh, construction, water, energy, and wood have all sat together, and we've uh, coordinated uh, 11 schools through Technica and more than 40 teachers working on a common project. This common project has been the foundation to incorporate uh, training uh, contents that are later used in uh, building water, energy, and wood. Th this year, we're trying to create a tiny house uh, that is an excuse uh, for us to develop the project. And all the teachers uh, from the uh, different uh, subjects have uh, worked and are working together. We've also tried to include the uh, BIM technology, taking into account the new directives for construction in the Europe. And we're studying sustainable materials on the one hand, but also seeing what's the future of the intelligent materials that would be needed in uh, cities where 60 and 70 percent of the population will be living by the year 2050. We are preparing ourselves for that. We are also very much uh, involved in the study of um, um, having uh, healthy bu buildings. We don't only take into account construction and design, but how these materials uh, affect our health, uh, what we face uh, every day in our um, buildings and uh, where we live, in our work, in the places where we work and live. And uh, then we have adapted constructions. We've been able to include one more uh, family that has to do with uh, the community. And they've taught us a lot regarding how this uh, tiny house project has to be developed and how we, keep, we can adapt it for the different needs of different uh, uh, people. We've been able to study and learn with them, developing real projects. And through this uh, platform for sustainable uh, building, we are showing how our students can work in uh, refurbishing and in construction for this uh, smart cities of the future. Now I would like to give the floor to Alberto from the Bidasoa School in Irún. He's been very involved in the BIM technology, but also in the study and incorporation of new technologies like uh, drones uh, to study uh, energy or uh, waste of energy in buildings. 
First of all, I would like to thank all the uh, directors of the different departments in Technica because we received the res support of all of them. And uh, regarding what Marijose Barriola is asking, the success of this uh, project, as uh, well as with others, is uh, uh, the passion and uh, uh, how they encourage us uh, to continue with this project. I remember the day I talked with the deputy minister about this, and we almost uh, cried uh, uh, because we really wanted to work on this project. So it's really interesting that the diverse specialties work hand in hand. Before, we had very individual uh, projects, each one in our own uh, schools. Others worked on beam, others on uh, wood, but we all had a main aim and was uh, to be sustainable. In uh, VET, in Vidasoa, Irun, we're very industrial, so trying to be sustainable is uh, something we could uh, be able to contribute a, a lot with, and we're very happy to see how we're working in a coordinated manner. It's wonderful to see teachers from our school working with uh, teachers from Usurbil or from other uh, schools and how there is uh, an exchange of knowledge and know-how. On the other hand, our electronics uh, students are also in the uh, uh, carpentry uh, workshop uh, working on uh, sustainability and working on the uh, tiny house. So before we just worked on electronics for the industry, but now we're also provided electronic elements for this uh, kind of houses. And also uh, facing, for example, mobility problems that we might have to face when we uh, grow older. So before we just had innovation projects, but now it's much more. There is a transfer of uh, knowledge between the teachers, and we hope to have students, as you saw in the video, that are nice, as the uh, company manager uh, requested. Thank you. I will continue even though we cannot see it on the screen right now. The uh, l last thing we're working on has uh, to do with uh, the health sector. What we are uh, developing is uh, what we want to contribute to society. For uh, a year and a half, uh, four schools have been working together in a new field, a field that was included in the 2020 plan together with advanced manufacturing and energy. And we've tried to, first of all, give you information about what VET can contribute to society. We realized uh, that there were many issues related to health, uh, chemistry, sustainable fabrics, uh, personal image, or many things that uh, uh, people with a dependency need. And we need to make the most of the technology that uh, John is working on us. So we've tried to open the doors of our schools so that universities, technology centers, and the institutions know about this uh, so that you understand that, that we have a lot to contribute to society. We've worked on biotechnologies, marine and industrial biotechnology, and uh, health uh, biotechnology. All those things you could see on the video. And we're giving a different uh, perspective from VET, working on, uh, for example, bioprinting, uh, healthy aging, nanotechnology. We uh, really enthusiastic about this uh, new area we're working on because uh, traditionally we focused on in the industry, but now we're seeing and working in labs and uh, students uh, of VET can do many of the things that are being done at the university too. We have a great capacity with all the infrastructures and with all the professional uh, families that we have in our schools. There is a full collaboration between the different kinds of uh, schools, so we are very hopeful and we want to contribute with these uh, values to society. And finally, 
Our aim is uh, to uh, look forward uh, and to uh, see what the new kind of VET will be. And it's not uh, new anymore. It's already uh, present for us. And I wanted to uh, show you this uh, pink color. And I believe that those of us working are working with our hearts. Everything that seemed to be impossible is now becoming a reality. There, you all have very big uh, hearts, and uh, this uh, big heart is also linked to, to uh, something that we don't usually mention, and that is the will, the will of the teachers and of the students, so that from VET, we're able to have this uh, sustainable growth and uh, we will have uh, many new job positions, but we all have to live in the same planet in the year 2030 or 2050. So with uh, the enthusiasm that we have uh, now, we can, will continue working so that our ch children don't say that we didn't do everything possible to leave you with a, or leave them with a better world. Thank you all.